Have you ever heard of beginner's luck when it comes to playing the lottery? Beginner's luck is a term used to describe the phenomenon where someone who is new to a particular activity or endeavor achieves unexpected success or favorable outcomes early on. It implies that a beginner, with little or no experience or skill, manages to surpass the performance of more seasoned individuals in each task. Some explanations for beginner's luck are lack of preconceived notions, reduced performance pressure, a beginner's mindset that's curious and open, fewer distractions, higher risk tolerance, and statistical probability. Today we will explore lottery winners that won on the first or second attempt of playing the lottery and hit it big. First on the list Erica Green of Georgia and $58.9 million big game jackpot winner in 2002. In 2002, Erica Green, a 20-year-old warehouse worker residing in Decula, Georgia, emerged as the fortunate recipient of the big game jackpot. As a young lottery winner, Green experienced beginner's luck. She joined the ranks of three lucky individuals who shared the $331 million prize. The other winning tickets were sold in Illinois and New Jersey. The Big Game, a multi-state lottery game played in the United States from 1996 to 2002, included participating states such as Georgia, Illinois, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, New Jersey, and Virginia. Subsequently, it was renamed Mega Millions. Green recounted her winning moment, stating, I spent all the money I had on me, $10, to buy 10 tickets about two hours before Tuesday night's drawing at a store in Decula. While she manually selected the numbers on one ticket, she allowed the computer to generate the remaining entries. Remarkably, it was one of the computer-generated numbers that constituted the winning combination, 7, 10, 25, 26, 27, and the bonus number 23. Each of the three winning tickets held a value of $110,333,333. Green chose the cash payout option, which amounted to $58,938,743 before taxes. Reflecting on her victory, she revealed, I had never played the lottery before Tuesday but I beat the 76 million to one odds. Accompanied by her boyfriend and mother, Green arrived at the lottery office in a stretch limousine to claim her prize. Despite her newfound wealth, Green expressed uncertainty about the impact it would have on her desire for a quiet life as a housewife. She hoped that the attention surrounding her win wouldn't become overwhelming. While she has a boyfriend, they are not yet engaged. I really just don't know, she admitted. I'm still in shock right now. I know I want my house, and I want my land, and I want my car. Green shared the initial disbelief her boyfriend, Mike Swafford, had when she informed him of her victory. She laughed as she recalled saying, Baby, I won. Recognizing the significance of her financial windfall, Green stated, I've studied up on statistics and I am going to have someone handle the money for me. I'll make the money work for me instead of blowing it all. Second on the list, Holly Lottie of Idaho and winner of $190 million Mega Millions jackpot in 2011. In January 2011, Holly Lottie, a 29-year-old single mother of two and bank employee, accomplished the extraordinary feat of winning half of a $380 million Mega Millions jackpot by spending only $5. Remarkably, she managed to achieve this jackpot on her second attempt at playing the lottery, utilizing the quick pick method. During the time of the lottery drawing, Holly Lottie was separated but still legally married to her husband. According to spokesman in 2013, Holly and Joshua are now divorced after 10 years of marriage. However, it remains uncertain how or if the lottery funds were divided, as Holly declined to provide any comment on the matter. She did mention, He and I are on good terms. We've grown a lot together since this happened. Following her win, Lottie intentionally disappeared from public view, disconnecting her phone numbers, refraining from making any public statements, resigning from her job and discreetly relocating from Rathdrum, Idaho, her hometown. She fled to California, 
though the specific location was not disclosed. The winning numbers for the jackpot were 4, 8, 15, 25, 47, with the mega ball number of 42. Interestingly, her winning numbers closely resembled those from the popular TV show called Lost, where one of the characters named Hurley won the lottery using the numbers 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42. For that particular drawing, 41,000 individuals matched four numbers and received a prize of $150. There have been no recent updates about Holly Lottie from credible sources, with the last update dating back to 2013. However, it is known that Holly purchased a home, enrolled her daughters in private schools, and acquired a house for her father in California. She is quoted as saying she believes her money is wisely invested, stating, I haven't squandered it. Being a single mom living on a budget with two kids is instilled in me. I'm not the one to throw money up in the air and live like Paris Hilton. Third on the list, Jerson Garcia of Bronx, New York and $20 million Mega Millions jackpot winner in 2023. Jerson Garcia, a first-time player, achieved the remarkable feat of hitting the Mega Millions jackpot as of January 17, 2023, having matched all six numbers and winning a staggering $20 million. The winning numbers for this life-changing event were 2, 12, 18, 24, 39 with the Mega Ball number 18. Opting for the lump sum payment, Garcia received a total of $6,492,471 after necessary withholdings. In Garcia's own words, he stated, I plan on enjoying the fortune with my family. I really want to help my mother and get her a house. It's every son's dream to buy their mother a home. Fourth on the list is Angelica Chavez of Iowa, who became a $1 million Mega Millions winner in 2019. Angelica Chavez, 27, a first-time player, firmly believed that she would win big. She described herself as a gambler, but only in casinos, and had never played the lottery before. Recounting her conversation with her father the night before, she shared, I told my dad, I'm going to win something big. And he said, just go for it. Encouraged by her father, she decided to try her luck with Mega Millions. At the time, Chavez worked at the Tyson Foods meat processing plant in Sioux City. Choosing her own numbers, she drew inspiration from a memorable incident three years ago. During her time at a senior living center, she came across a game resembling a lottery drawing machine, with balls. Chavez participated in the game, selecting multiple sets of six numbers, which she diligently wrote down and kept in her purse ever since. I always knew that one day I would play these numbers, and that day happened to be on Friday, she said. Chavez was already convinced that she would win, stating, I already felt that I was going to win. She jokingly added, I put 15 instead of 25, or I would have won the whole jackpot. Angelica Chavez achieved a remarkable victory, winning a $1 million prize. The winning numbers were 18, 25, 43, 44, 57, and the mega ball number was 25. Surprisingly, her ticket was the only one in the country to win the $1 million prize that night. Chavez plans to wisely use her winnings, investing them and setting aside money for her daughter's future. She aims to purchase properties to rent, ensuring that her money remains active instead of being stagnant in the bank. Last on the list, Juliet of Canada and $48 million Lotto 6 of 49 Gold Ball Jackpot winner in 2023. Juliet, hailing from Salt St. Marie, Ontario, Canada, etched her name in Canadian lottery history as the youngest person to win a substantial jackpot at the age of 18. The university student emerged as the fortunate victor of the Lotto 649 Gold Ball Jackpot from the draw held on January 7, 2023. Juliet achieved victory with her very first lottery purchase, inspired by her grandfather's encouragement to play for fun. In her own words, she said, When I went to the store, I wasn't sure what to ask for because I have never bought a ticket before, so I called my dad who told me to buy a Lotto 6 of 49 quick pick. 
I still can't believe I hit the gold ball jackpot on my very first lottery ticket. According to the Ontario Lottery and Gaming Corporation, OLG, Juliet momentarily forgot about her ticket until news began to circulate about the winning ticket being purchased in her city. While at work, her colleagues informed her about the winning ticket sold locally. A coworker then offered to check her ticket using the OLG app. As he scanned her ticket, the winner's jingle played, and the words, Big Winner, displayed on his phone. Recounting the moment, Juliet shared. My colleague fell to his knees in disbelief. He was yelling, in fact, everyone was yelling that I won $48 million. At first, I couldn't comprehend what was happening. I couldn't process this news. We caused quite a scene in the store that day. The shock and excitement continued as Juliet immediately called home to share the unbelievable news. She explained, Because I was crying happy tears, of course, my mom couldn't understand what was going on. Thankfully, my dad was able to piece together that I won the lottery jackpot. I knew I couldn't focus on work, and my boss told me I could go home, but my mom wanted me to stay and finish my shift. My colleagues called out, come and get her, and eventually, my parents came to pick me up. Given that Juliet's father is a financial planner, she feels more at ease with her significant lottery win. While the majority of the money will be carefully invested for now, as they develop a comprehensive plan for its utilization, Juliet remains committed to her dream of becoming a doctor and returning to practice in Northern Ontario. She expressed, I wanted to go to medical school before winning the lottery. Now I can pursue this dream without worrying about grants or loans. As a member of the Garden River First Nation community, I was eligible for educational assistance programs, but I no longer need those resources which means someone else in the community can benefit from that funding. I really want to come back to this area as a doctor so I can give back to my community. When asked about immediate plans on her bucket list, Juliet shared her focus on completing her studies for the current school year and subsequently planning some summer adventures. She explained, Once school is done, my family and I will choose a continent and begin exploring. I'm not a sit-on-the-beach type of person. I want to experience different countries, delve into their history and culture, savor their cuisine, and immerse myself in their languages. Juliet also mentioned that while sharing the news of her lottery win with those closest to her, she received some unforgettable words of wisdom. She reflected, Money doesn't define you. It's the work you do that will define you. While I am incredibly excited about the opportunities that lie ahead, I find solace in knowing that I am surrounded. Overall, the stories of these lottery winners who experience beginner's luck serve as a reminder that remarkable things can happen to anyone, regardless of their experience or background. It is a testament to the unpredictable nature of life and the endless possibilities that await us. These individuals took a chance, some on their first try, and defied the odds to achieve extraordinary success. Erica Green, Holly Lottie, Jerson Garcia, Angelica Chavez, and Juliet each embarked on their lottery journey with hope and a willingness to embrace the unknown. They showed us that sometimes, it's the fresh perspective of a beginner that allows us to see opportunities that others might overlook. By approaching the game with a sense of curiosity, openness, and even a bit of risk-taking, they were able to seize life-changing prizes. But beyond the material gains, these stories highlight the importance of staying grounded and making wise decisions when unexpected fortune comes our way. Erica, Holly, Gerson, Angelica, and Juliet all expressed a desire to use their winnings responsibly, whether it be by investing, supporting their loved ones, pursuing their dreams, or giving back to their communities. They understood that money alone does not define their worth or happiness. It is the actions they take and the impact they make that truly matter. Beginner's luck is a phenomenon that reminds us to stay open to new experiences, embrace opportunities with enthusiasm, and believe in our own potential. It shows us that sometimes, against all odds, we can achieve remarkable things when we take that leap of faith. So, let these stories inspire you to step out of your comfort zone pursue your dreams, 
and remain resilient in the face of challenges. Remember, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned individual, luck may smile upon you when you least expect it. So, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep believing in the magic of new beginnings. Who knows what incredible adventures lie ahead?